Hi everybody, this is Miss Molly at the Roy Hyatt Environmental Center. Welcome! We are going to do um, a lesson today on insects. We're going to talk about the characteristics of insects, what makes an insect an insect. We're also going to talk about the life cycle or metamorphosis of the insect. Can everybody say metamorphosis? Let me hear ya. Very nice job! So metamorphosis, just a big science word for life cycle. Alright, um, we're also going to specifically talk about the life cycle of the butterfly. So, let's start off by talking about the five things that all insects have in common. So we're going to start off, everybody, with your fingers right here like this. Now wiggle them around. Now put them on your head. Hmm, insects have these things up here. What in the world do you think they're called? You are so right, they are called antenna. Everybody say, antenna. Very good. All right. So we know one thing about insects. Let's think about something else that we know about insects. Not only do they antenna, have antenna, but most insects can fly. What do they use to fly with? Oh, you all are absolutely right. They use their wings. So we know two things about insects so far. Everybody say, antenna. Now say wings. All right, excellent job. Now we know two things about insects. Let's think. Insects have a certain number of legs. Do they have 10 legs? Mm -mm. Do they have two legs? No way. Do they have eight legs? I think some of you said yes. Spiders have eight legs, but not insects. Spiders are in a group we call arachnid. So it's not eight legs. I heard some of you, they have six legs, you're absolutely right, everybody say six legs, all right? Nice job. Now, we know three things about insects, all right? Everybody say antenna, wings, six legs. Now, hmm, insects have body parts. Does anybody know how many body parts those insects might have? You are right. They have three body parts. Now, let's think. We know four things about insects so far. Everybody wiggle those fingers. Put them up here. What were these called? You're absolutely right. They are called antenna. Everybody say antenna. Now say wing six legs, three body parts. And finally, we have one more thing we need to know about insects. So first, let's think about ourselves. We have a skeleton, don't we? Where's our skeleton? Is it inside of our body or is it outside of our body? You're absolutely right. Our skeleton is inside of our body. It's called an endoskeleton. Kind of sounds like inside skeleton, but um, our skeleton is inside our body. Guess what insects? They don't have an inside skeleton. They have a hard coating on the outside and it's called an exoskeleton. Let me hear you say it. Very nice job. Now, let me ask you, insect skeleton, are they on the inside or on the outside? That's right, they're on the outside. And what did we call them? X-O. Skeleton, very good. So now we know five things about insects. Everybody, say it with me. Everybody say, antenna, wings, six legs, three body parts, and an XO skeleton. Now, let's think for a minute. Hmm, we said they have three body parts. Let's think about those three body parts. The top body part is just like ours. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is this thing? You're right, we call it a head. So everybody put your hands up here and say, head. Nice job. Now, their middle body part is kind of like ours. Ours is called a chest, but in the insect world, of course they don't call it a chest. They call it a thorax. Everybody say, thorax. Nice job, all right? So we know two of the body parts. Everybody say, head. Everybody say thorax. And finally, the bottom potty part, it is like our stomach. But in the insect world, we don't call it a stomach. We call it an abdomen. Everybody say abdomen. Very good. So everybody say head. 
thorax. Abdomen. Very good. All right. So we know that insects have antenna. They fly with wings. They have six legs, three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And where's their skeleton on the inside or the outside? You're right, it is on the outside and we call it an exoskeleton. Now let's think about that exoskeleton for a minute. Go back to ourselves. Our skeleton was, where did you tell me? Oh, you're right, it was on the inside. So we have our bones on the inside of our body. And inside we have a special bone back here. What do we call that bone that runs all the way up and down our back? You're right, it's called the spine or the backbone. All animals that have a spine, they're called vertebrates. Everybody say vertebrate. Very good, all right? So we are mammals, we have a spine and that makes us a vertebrate. So let me ask you a few questions. Do you have a spine? Yes, you do. So you are a what? Vertebrate. Very good. Do your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, do they have spines? They do, you're right. So what are they? They're a vertebrate. Very good. How about your brothers and sisters? Do they have a spine? Of course they do. So what does that make them? Vertebrate. How about your dogs or your cats? Do they have a spine? Yes, they have a spine, so that makes them a vertebrate. You all are so smart. So now we know everything there is to know about insects. So everybody say them with me. Get your fingers ready. What are these? They are antenna. Everybody say antenna. Wings. Six legs. Three body parts. Head. Thorax. Abdomen. Where's their skeleton? On the inside or the outside? Oh, you're absolutely right, it is on the outside. And what's it called? Yes, an exoskeleton. And finally, do insects have a spine? Yes or no? Hmm, that's a good question. They have that hard coating on the outside. So they have no bones on the inside. So no, they don't have a spine. We call them invertebrate. In means no or not, vertebrate means spine no spine in vertebrates. So do insects have a spine? No, they don't have a spine. So are they vertebrates or invertebrates? You are so right, they are invertebrates. How about us? Do we have a spine? Yes, we have a spine. So what are we? We are vertebrates. You all are brilliant. Now, excuse the music for a minute, car driving by. All right, so we, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the life cycle of the insect. So what was that word again? Metamorphosis, you're right. We're gonna talk about the life cycle or metamorphosis. Let me hear you say it. And metamorphosis, just a big word for life cycle. We're gonna talk about the life cycle of the insect and then the life cycle of the butterfly. Then we're gonna go on a search and see if we can find parts of the butter life cycle of the butterfly. Now. Um, the life cycle of the insect. We've got that adult beetle or butterfly that's moving around and the adult will eventually lay a what? You're right, it lays an egg. The egg hatches and out of the egg comes that baby insect. Hmm, we don't call them a baby in the insect world though. We call it a larva. Everybody say larva. Now, those larva, a lot of times they look like worms but they're not worms at all. And you know how I know they're not worms? Because they have six teeny tiny legs way up close to the front. So they look like worms, but they have tiny antenna and six legs, so they cannot be a worm. They are baby insects called larvae. When they hatch, they're teeny tiny, but then they begin to eat and they grow and they eat and they grow and they eat and they grow and they eat and they grow and eventually they get so big that they are ready to change and they change and they form into a teenage insect well guess what in the insect world we don't call them a teenager we call them pupa everybody say pupa 
excellent job. Now, that pupa, he may lay there underneath some leaves or under a rock. He may hang upside down by his rear end, all kinds of different things that they do. But guess what? Once they're there, they don't move. They stay really, really still. A lot of people think they're dead, but they're not. They're not dead at all. Instead, they are saving all their energy because they're working hard. They're working hard on the inside. Inside, they're changing, they're transforming, and they're turning into an adult. Eventually, they're going to crack open and emerge as an adult insect. And then the whole life cycle starts all over again. So, let's think about the life cycle of the insect. Everybody say, adult. Nice job. Now, the adult lays a what? You're right, it lays an egg. The egg hatches and out of the egg comes the baby insect, but we don't call them a baby. What do we call them, everybody? Larva, very good. That larva eats and he grows and he eats and he grows, but we know he's not a worm, because what does he have? Six legs. Eventually, he grows so big, he forms into a teenager, but we don't call them teenage insects. We call them a what? You're right, we call it a pupa. Everybody say pupa. Now that pupa may lay there really still and he looks like he's dead, but is he dead? No, you're right, he's not. Where is he working hard? He's working hard on the inside. Inside he's changing, he's transforming, he's eventually going to emerge or come out as an adult and then the whole life cycle will start all over again. Now, the life cycle of the insect it was what we just went over. But we're going to talk a little bit about the life cycle of the butterfly. Is a butterfly an insect? Well, yes it is. It has what? Antenna. It flies with wings. It has six legs, three body parts, and an XO skeleton. So definitely it's an insect. But it's a special insect and has its own names for part of its life cycle. So we start off with that adult butterfly. That adult butterfly will eventually lay a what? You're right, an egg. The egg hatches and out of the egg comes the baby butterfly. But in the butterfly world, we don't call it a baby. We don't usually call it a larva. We call it a caterpillar. You're right, it is a caterpillar. Now, that caterpillar begins to eat and he loves to eat leaves and he eats and he grows 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 and he gets bigger and eventually he gets so big that he goes crawling off he finds a place, he crawls up, he attaches his little rear end to wherever he's found, he turns into a little J, and then he forms his teenage life, which is called a chrysalis. Everybody say chrysalis. Very good. Now, that chrysalis hangs there. It never moves. Maybe the wind blows it a little bit, but it doesn't get up and walk around. It just hangs there, but it's not dead. It is working hard. It's working hard on the inside. Inside, it's changing. It's changing from that caterpillar into that adult butterfly all inside of there. Eventually, it's going to emerge. And when it comes out, it doesn't fly away right away. It has to sit there really still, just like other insects. They're damp or moist or soft, and they have to harden or dry before they can fly away or crawl away. So that butterfly has to flap his wings a little bit. He has to dry those wings, and once his wings are dry or her wings are dry, they can fly away. So we've got that adult uh, butterfly who will eventually lay an egg, and the whole life cycle starts all over again. So let's go over that real quick. Everybody say, adult butterfly. The adult butterfly lays a what? <gasps> yes, an egg. The egg hatches and out of the egg comes the baby. We call it a caterpillar. You are right. Everybody say caterpillar. Now that caterpillar eats and he grows and eats and he grows and eats and he grows and eventually he forms into a teenager. We call that teenager a what? <gasps> You're right. It is a chrysalis. That chrysalis hangs there really still and almost never moves. But it's working hard where? On the inside. Inside, it's changing. It's transforming. It'll eventually emerge as a what? Adult butterfly. Does it fly away right away? Nope, you're right. What does it have to do? Dry its wings. Then once its wings are dry, it flies away. It'll lay some eggs eventually, and the whole life cycle starts all over again. Now, we are gonna go in search of the life cycle of the butterfly, 
and we might see if we can't find a bug or two along the way. Here's some milkweed plant. Let's see if we can find some eggs on some of the leaves of my milkweed plant. Let's see. Right here, I see an egg. Let's see if we can get that up close. Can you see that tiny little egg? That's just incredible. And when it hatches, the caterpillar is teeny tiny. Hmm, are there any more on this plant? Let's see if we can find another one. Here's one. There it is. Those tiny little eggs. So there's the egg of the monarch caterpillar. Now, let's see if we can find the caterpillar. Earlier, we had some over here. Let's see if anybody's still munching away. Oh my goodness. Here's one. One little caterpillar. Whoops. One little caterpillar. That caterpillar is munching away on this beautiful milkweed plant. So there is the baby butterfly, the baby monarch butterfly, and we call it a caterpillar. Are there any more? There were others earlier, but I don't see them now. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can find a chrysalis. So this is a sidewalk going up to my house. And a couple days ago, there was a caterpillar crawling up the sidewalk. And then it crawled up the post here and up the railing here. And then it climbed up the railing here. And then it came to right here. And when it was right here, it attached its butt and it was hanging upside down. Then it formed into the shape of a letter J. Then once it was in the shape of the letter J, overnight while we were sleeping, we came out the next morning and it had formed into this beautiful chrysalis. So now it's the teenager, it's the chrysalis of the monarch butterfly. That is amazing. So it hangs there. It doesn't really ever move except maybe when the wind blows, but it's working hard inside. Inside it's changing and transforming and it will eventually become the adult butterfly. Now, let's see if we can find, oh, there goes one. I don't know if you can see it. An adult butterfly. move around so quickly it's hard to follow I hope you can see it in the video that's the adult monarch butterfly maybe he'll land in a minute and he comes back All right, so there's that beautiful monarch. So that's the adult. The adult laid the egg. The egg hatched out of the egg came the caterpillar. The caterpillar turned into the chrysalis, and then the chrysalis will emerge as an adult. Now, what I'd like for you guys to do is to go around your yard and see if you can find some bugs. They might be insects, or they might be some other type of bug. I'm going to look over here. A good place to look is under things. Oh, look what we see right there. I see a roly-poly. Check this out. So this is a roly-poly. Now check out that roly-poly. Does he have exactly six legs? Where'd you go, roly-poly? There you are. No, he has more than six legs. He, it cannot be an insect because insects have exactly six legs. 
this guy is actually in the group that we call crustacean. And that's kind of crazy because we think of crustaceans as being things in the water like a lobster or a crab or a shrimp. But this guy falls, oh, where'd you go? There you are. Falls into that family as well. So he has too many legs to be an insect. Now, when you go on a hunt in your yard and find insects, what I want you to do when you are done is to put them right back where you found them. That's their home. Oh, butterfly. That's their home, and we want them to be happy in their home. So go home, little roly-poly. All right, there we go. He's back where he came from. Now, let's continue and see if we can find any other insects. A good place to look is under rocks. We have some rocks or logs. We have some logs over here. I want to see if we can find any bugs, hopefully some insects underneath some of our rocks. Nobody there. So what I, my challenge to you all is to go wandering through your yard or maybe walk through your neighborhood, or maybe mom or dad can take you down the street to a park and see if you can find some bugs. When you find those bugs, I want for you all to decide, is it an insect or is it something else? And we know that insects have six legs, three body parts. They have an exoskeleton antenna and wings. There's that monarch. Um, and so we can figure out if it's an insect by looking at all those wonderful things. Once you've found them, I want you all to do me a favor. Maybe you can draw them. You can label the parts of the insect and maybe even draw the life cycle of the butterfly for me. Thanks for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.